Hey, what's going on guys? I love it when people watch our channel and get results from watching our videos. That makes me feel so good. So I got an email this week from somebody who implemented just a couple of our strategies from watching the videos that I create and their first place ranking for several keywords. I wanna go over that email with you. She also had a few questions. I wanna answer that question. And then I had a subscriber who asked some questions about uh, pointing links at citations. So. If one person asked, I'm sure more than, uh, more than one person has the same question. I want to review that with you. I want to show you how to get great rankings. More importantly, rankings lead to leads. How do I say that? Rankings lead to leads, meaning that if you show up in the Google 3-pack, you're going to increase your leads. So that's what I want to show you how to do. So as I say in almost every video, well, I say it in every video, watch this! All right, guys, so this is the email. I'm not going to edit this video. I am a terrible reader aloud. Whenever uh, my teachers would call on me and say, Brett, we need you to read aloud. Oh my God, it was, a, it was terrible. Well, let me see how I could do. Hey, Brett, Happy New Year. Uh, I listened to several of your videos this week about purchasing and setting up additional confirmed GMBs, as well as adding the news info to the GMB webpage, which worked awesome. And these are the rankings that she has. Look at this, one, one, one. Okay, home remodelers in my area. So I probably would wanna to talk to you about that. All right, uh, garage renovation, very good, very good, very good, okay. And high-end remodeling. I can almost guarantee she doesn't have a page on her website about high-end remodeling. And garage, construction near me let's i assume she doesn't have a page this is just a keyword on her page and she happens to be ranking for it but assuming she does have a page for garage construction near me uh, she should probably add more content to that um to that page so abcconstruction.com slash garage door construction right she should add more content to that page, answer more of the user's questions, and she should probably get uh, three or four re reviews over the next several weeks using the keyword garage uh, construction, St. Petersburg. So for example, she should get some reviews saying, um, I was looking for a, um, I was looking to get garage door construction in St. Petersburg because I'm working on a project and uh, you know, so on and so forth. And they came across you know, your firm and they helped me out. And, and you should also do uh, four or five posts per week for the next several weeks using um, pictures that Google recognizes as garage uh, construction. And you should create posts using those pictures, putting your nap on it, name, address, and phone number, the keyword, put that on the picture, garage door construction near me, you can put that on, and add your logo to those pictures. And uh, put that out on, uh, on your Google My Business, and then you also wanna put that out on your Facebook and your Twitter as well. And that is definitely going to increase your rankings from 12 on. But let's, uh, Let's talk about her question. So I manage two GMBs. One is website one in St. Petersburg, Florida, and the other one is uh, website two in St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg, Florida. These are the money GMB sites. Um, I'm looking to increase leads by purchasing additional verified GMBs in St. Pete. Okay, so uh, you could do a couple of things. You could go see my friend Daniel over at GMB Rockstars, and he could uh, set you up with a Google My Business, right? Or if you have an address that you could use in St. Petersburg, have the postcard mailed to that address. However, let me try to explain something. Uh, do not set up the Google My Business without creating footprints first. 
Well, what does that mean? Okay. So think of your Google My Business as a blackboard. Think of Google looking on the internet as a blackboard. The blackboard is completely empty. You set up a Google My Business. You set the Google My Business up. It looks on the blackboard to see if there's any, um, anything written about website one in St. Petersburg. It doesn't see anything. There's a good chance that you will get your GMB suspended either right away as soon as you verify it or in a month or two. So what you want to do is you want to create um, some tracks on the internet to let Google know that this is a business that's already established. Well, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you build a website, you build a Facebook page with that name and address, you set up some social websites, you set up a, a Yelp page, right? You set up a Yelp page, uh, you submit probably about 15 stories to Google News. You could just go on Fiverr. Let me show you how to do that. Go on Fiverr if you don't want to create your own news site, but just go on Fiverr. There are people that have a news approved website and create 15 stories. This is all before, see, Google News. You want to create 15 stories on Google News that has the story, but don't forget to add your name, address, and phone number inside the story and a link to your Google uh, My Business map. So just a link to your Google My Business map, a story, and your nap, your name, address, and phone number. Throw that on 15 Google News sites, put it on a couple of YouTube videos in the description, and, and about four weeks later, that's when you want to order your GMB. So now Google's going to take a look. They're going to say, okay, well, uh, what do you have on the, on the internet? Do we have any signals that you're, you're an actual business? And they'll look and you'll have something. When you have nothing and you just create a Google My Business, a lot of times it could get suspended. So do that first. All right, do that first. Okay. Uh, do you set up, do you recommend setting up a landing page or is that not needed? Just a new local number for each listing. Okay, so I get this question a lot. What she's basically saying is, should she set up a, um, a website for the new business? Or should she create a landing page on her website for the new business? Here's what I want you to think. Think about Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks for a second. Let's go to Starbucks for a second. Okay, so Starbucks does not create a, uh, a new website every time they open a new store. What they do is they just create pages on their website. So for example, it'll be starbucks.com slash uh, 1010 Main Street, St. Petersburg. Uh, starbucks.com slash 1010 Main Street slash Tampa, right? Because what they're doing is, is Starbucks is building their brand. Home Depot is building their brand. So they just add pages to their website. now. Each location may have a different phone number. That's great. And if you need phone numbers, one of the places we use is called CallRail. And you can get a package here for $45 a month and it'll give you more than enough time. Right, it'll give you text messages and a bunch of phone calls and you could do that. You could also um, use an answering service and I'm sorry I don't have that on hand right now, but they have, they have, I'll put it in the description below, I'll find it. But there are answering services just made for Google My Businesses so people answer the phone, they take the message and send it over to you and you could do that too. Just one thing, Make sure whatever phone number you get from either CallRail or whatever service, Twilio, Twilio, whatever, whatever you use, make sure, right, that that phone number wasn't used. So if you go to Google and they give you, and this is my phone number, 
227 2300 don't just use the phone number <laughs> take a look first and see if if somebody has been using this phone number for 20 years and it's associated with mindsaw it's going to be really hard to rank in the google three pack for that phone number because it's associating that phone number with another business already so if it's associating with don's pizza and you're a construction company, and Don's Pizza had that phone number for 20 years, and they're all over the web, it's gonna be really hard to get Google to recognize that that's your phone number. So make sure you have a clean phone number. In fact, when you put in for these phone numbers over a call rail, let them know that you need a clean phone number. Right, so I hope that helped. Uh, how much does, a, does a, a local phone number cost? Well. I just had it right here, usually around $45 a month. You could get away with that. Is it worth it to pay for a Google screened upgrade for realtors if there are, tw if there are 10 plus realtors in the area that are doing this? Google screened. I don't know what that is. I don't know what she's trying to say, Google screen. Well, if 10 other realtors are doing it, then yes, I would do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me know how you could help me. Hey, you did uh, you did a great job. You did a great job just by just by helping me, uh, just by emailing me, and I'm glad that helped. I'm glad that helped. I hope it helps a couple other people. I also have a, a question from another user, and let's go through that right now. All right, so I created a video about citations and about powering up your citations, and then I said. Uh, point fiver links at your citations, which will uh, strengthen your citations, your domain authority of your citations. And then if you have links on those citation pages, they will point to your website. Now they could point to your homepage, they could point to your keyword pages. You know, what, that's something, you know, whatever you want to do, there's nothing wrong in what, whatever you want to do. But let me show you how to do that. All right, guys, so let me see if I could explain this correctly. If I go over to Hrefs, right, and I type in the domain name Twitter, you're going to notice that that domain name has a ranking of a 94, right? Just Twitter. However, if I add my extension to it, my page, which is mine, so I think it's mine, so 360, mine, so 360 my page is only a 16 right so while the twitter domain name has like a 94 mine is only a 16. well how could i improve this 16 how could i bring this up so what i do is i just go over to fiverr i don't get crappy backlinks you know, for my Twitter site, but, you know, if I was using a, a site that I really didn't care about that much, maybe I would. But I try to find something that has some decent ratings and uh, three-tier GSAs or, you know, I probably wouldn't use GSAs because they're like a, a, a million links, but I'll get somebody that'll do like, you know, 50 or 100 links and have five-star reviews, right? something like that and I'd buy a package I'd write a little article and then I would point I would create a link on the website to check out our Twitter page uh, about local SEO click here something like that and we go to my it would go to my specific Twitter page and what that would do after a while it would start to bring up my my domain name ranking uh, rating now since I have my website on that domain it will power it up. So it'll make my domain even stronger. What do I mean? Okay, so I created a image. Hopefully this makes sense, right? So you have your Yelp page, your DNB page, your Angie's List page, a Twitter page, right? You get some Fiverr links and you point them directly to your Yelp, your Twitter, your DNB, that's done in Bradstreet, 
your Angie's List. And since you have your information on those pages, like your name, address, and phone number, your website address, these pages will be, instead of a 16 or a 5, will be a 32 or a 35, and it will strengthen up your homepage, which will um, uh, increase your domain name ranking in Google. So here's what Google wants to do. Google wants to put out the best content that somebody's looking for, but they'll only put your website on the first page if you're, for the most part, if your content is trusted. So if you have trusted content, it's, think of it like this. Somebody explained it to me like this. You've been driving a car for two days. You get pulled over for passing a stop sign. You're going to get the ticket. You don't have any driving record. Whereas if you've been driving for 30 years and you just made a mistake and you slid past the, uh, the stop sign, there's a good chance you won't get the ticket if you have a clean license. You're trusted. You're a trusted driver, right? So that's what you're trying to do here is you're pointing the Fiverr links to your, um, your, your social pages and or your citations. Now, somebody's going to ask me, well, why don't you just take them and why don't you just point them? Let me see if I can do this. Why don't you just point them? to your website and just forget about this. Well, here's the thing. If these Fiverr links are bad, I'd rather them be bad on my DNB site. I don't want bad links going to my website, right? So what these are, are actually their buffers. And if you could strengthen the domain rating for your buffers, then that's going to pass link juice onto your homepage, your keyword pages, right? So on and so forth. Listen, you have these pages anyway, right? You have a Yelp page, you have a Facebook page, a Twitter page. Why not get the most out of it? Build up the juice on it so that it'll turn past juice to your website. So that's basically, that's what I was saying. I was saying is to get the links and point them to these pages, your buffer pages, and that'll in turn uh, bring up your website. It'll make your website more trusted because the websites that are linking to it have a higher domain rating. Okay? I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So those are some small tricks that we use. Look, here's the bottom line. If you have crappy content on your website, no content, then these little, I don't want to call them tricks, these little tips aren't going to do much right? You need good content on your website. When somebody goes and searches for a plumber or a DUI, they don't want to know that you're the best DUI lawyer in Florida. They want to know what you've done and they want you to break down the cases. You need to have a good writer, not somebody that um, just has some spare time. You need an SEO writer. Somebody's going to know how to use the keyword you know, a plumber in Long Island, how many times they should use that on the page before it going to spam. It's usually about 3%. So for every 100 words, you could use it two to three times without overdoing it. Now, I've seen some other videos where guys say, hey, I do it 15, 20 times and I don't receive a penalty. Everybody has a different way of, uh, of ranking. I do it my way and I respect anybody that does it, you know, any other ways. So, uh, with that being said, guys, uh, I want everybody to have a nice day. Things are great here in Florida today. It's uh, 70 degrees. Beautiful day. I'm going to take the dog out for in a little while and uh, maybe sit in the sun for a little bit and read a book and uh, grow my business and, you know, give my kids a call, make sure they're doing good. One's out in L.A. and the other f fellas in, um, in, in New York still finishing up some college. So uh, they're doing real good. I'm real happy there. And um, things are going good. Things are going good. All right, guys. So listen, please take care of your family. Give your wife a kiss. Take, take out, get up now. Take out the garbage. We'll go put some laundry in or uh, do something. Clean up. Do something. Get up. All right? Appreciate your family because that's the reason why you're able to watch my crazy videos here for 30 minutes or as long as this video is, right? Because your family's taking care of what they have to do and you could sit here and watch your video. So please, please.
please take care of your family. And, uh, or if you don't have anybody in your house with you, you know, call that person who's, who's checking on you all the time. I know I have people in my life that check on me all the time, and I appreciate those people, man. I'm real lucky to have them. I'm really, really lucky to have them. Big shout out to uh, my friend Darren over Retel SEO, right? He does local SEO like I do, and, uh, you know, definitely go check him out. There's another fella, his name is Chris Palmer. You know, he's real good SEO. And then you, you have this other fella, his name is Ruan Marino from DevelopMark. And he's a real good SEO. So, you know, there's a lot of great people out there. We've got uh, Maps Queen coming out pretty soon, right? We're going to get her channel together. And she's going to be another force to be reckoned with here in the local SEO world. So a lot of good stuff is happening, man. A lot of good stuff is happening. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself, right? I know sometimes people don't say, hey, man, you know, you're, you're doing, I'm telling you, you're doing good. You're doing good. You're, you're a good person. And you're doing good and, and just keep doing what you're doing man because I believe in you I believe that things are gonna work out for you this year right this is gonna be your year 2021 2021 this is gonna be a great year for you and uh, and uh, I'm on your side kid all right so anything I could do to help you feel free just shoot me over an email put a comment in the comment box and uh, and we'll get this get this party going for 2021. All right, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.